legs are so sore. <sighs> Guess I must have been sleepwalking last night. <sighs> Again. Oh, yes! The seven. Still. Oh, traveler. See you. Huh? Ganyu, what are you doing here with Lan? Hello. We were just discussing the treasure hoard. Yes. But we recently received intel from the Ministry of Civil Affairs that two big-time treasure hoarders in Liyue and Mons... Two big-time tre... Yes. They're... Oh, Raptor! Paimon remembers he tried to run away from Amber... You already know something, then. You were correct. Some say that the god of the... Anyway, the treasure hoarders discovered some previously unexplored... Despite how dangerous that makes it, they have already devised a plan. They will... To this end, Big Sis and Raptor have... Grand Thief? Oh, indeed. He, the Grand Thief is highly respected in the treasure hoarders, in the same way that we adventurers look up to... Ah, uh, you met the living legend himself while you were in Mondstadt. So, despite being relative... Big With the major changes in Leoa recently, the Ministry of Civil Affairs and the Millilith all... Re but anything related to the Abyss makes me feel like there is some unknown danger lurking but So, I decided to come to the Adventurer's Guild to post a commission. Leave this- Oh! Thank you so- Good to see this in the hands of a rela-
my guiding stars! The Golden House? It looked impressive enough from the outside, but who would have... This is where all of Tavat's more is. Oh, so it's a trap. Tr but even if we can't take any, we can... Or better yet, take a nap on top of a map... Oh, right. It's quiet. <laughs> huh? Look! What happened here? Uh-oh. Paimon smells trouble. Quick, we have to go make sure that the Exuvia is all right. Let the show begin. You've already fulfilled your task as guides, so why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? Huh? Who's there? <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross, and you're in my way. <laughs> Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret locate- Don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? <laughs> Stopping the more immense, hiding away the Exuvia. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along- <laughs> As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers, it's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. She will get that which she desires. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing, and there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. The battle. Battle? So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> when Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral, instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice. When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the up. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. 
We won't let what happened in Mondstadt ever happen again! Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I won't kill you, Traveler. Besides, you could never defeat me. <laughs> Fighting talk, I love it! This chance is hard to come by, so show me all you've got! So very few ever get the chance to square off with a Fatui Harbinger. So come now, amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint! You're in for a little shot. Already? Come a little closer. Try this. You get urine for Celestial Voyager. That's cheating. <laughs> so quick to flee. Passable letter. Come a little closer. Passable letter. Not bad, not bad. A clear shot. You've made some progress. You're in for a little shot. Take more seriously. <laughs> Good. No wonder Senora was so wary of you. Well, that just means I can go all out. Brace yourself. This is about to get tough. Now, show me what you can do against the might of a harbinger. Wind blade. No use hiding behind it. I knew I should have stayed home. Got you. No escape. Ah! All you do is run. No use yeah. hiding back there. I'll crush you. Yeah. 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 Get him! This. I'll race you there. That's cheating. Something else catch your eye? Got you. Break! Uh, that's cheating! Bet you can't keep up with me! <sighs> Not bad. Your swordsmanship is quite impressive. But that's about as far as you'll get. <laughs> Didn't 
didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. <laughs> you were just playing us getting close to the Exuvia! Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected! <laughs> well then, I'll be taking Morax's gnosis now! <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You... You beat me to it, didn't you? Die here. Again. 
Well then, time to cool off. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you! Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if- I'm pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps, in fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that... Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of... As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this, for the, the truth is, the world belongs to those who pursue strength. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. So what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. A god? Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the Geo Archon in the Archon War and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archon's stone spears ever since. If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liyue Harbor, defenseless with do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago! Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey! Those are sigils of permission! Oh, Paimon remembers now! The Fatui have been researching them! Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by arts, using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me, and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. Huh? He's... he's already gone! That guy is fast! Uh, what's going on? Just as we came out of the Golden House, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. <sighs> Did we make it in time? What are you doing here? Huh? Hold on! It's the Adept Guy! What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? Paimon thought you were arguing with the Chising! Faced with a calamity of such magnitude, we have a... <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it! So how do you plan to defend Leela? Eh, just seeing this overlord of the Vortex
Vortex guy puts a pit in Paimon's tummy. He... It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyue Harbor. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? <sighs> so will the power of the Chising, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... What? But all of you are supposed to be the Guardians of Lila. Can't you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yeah. <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. Yep. Are manning the Guizhong Ballista. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work! All able Millilith, with me! Let's go help too! We Adepti have not faced a god in several millennia. Hmm. Let one see what you're made of then. What strength remains within you, one wishes to witness. No slacking <gasps> off! With the Not wind. breaking a sweat! <laughs> Let it rain! You can't uh. run! It isn't time uh. to a break uh. now! Uh. It looks like I went too far. Osile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. Be careful not to get hit. The Fatui! Their attacks are unrelenting! Huh. How daring. Snezhnai's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one! Disappear! The ancient gods attacking again! There are so many between two! We kill them! <laughs> Were you about to say we can't hold?
Um, children? Huh? Don't lose heart. Here, take this. This is... Adeptal energy! That light from your body, it's like the time a jillion cars! Wow! It's Madame Ping's shockwave! This granny's really strong! This isn't good. I guess this is it. Now you're not going anywhere. With the blood of the Chilean, I guard you against evil. Cast your fear of injury by the wayside and fight with all your might. I too did this during the Archon War. This is what Gunny's like in a fight! My name means swiftness. Take my power and run as I do. Perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. ourselves fully. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Be careful now. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of it. At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liu means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice... Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice... <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. Oh? 3,700 years. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm. I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. <laughs> Forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream, I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world. A 
establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known, but I dared not speak. Oh, Ningguang. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the Four Winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides, because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both, and that nothing good would come of it. Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, as Adepti we've become a laughingstock all right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know- I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the Illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Why does everyone look so down? Didn't we- <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those when danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and take thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh, okay. It must be hard being an adept. You see, this is what Liyue is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection. But it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Liyue and its people. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Your line of inquiry is askew. Hmm. Seems like the Adept had... Let us return now. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. <laughs> Yes, one understands what the Conqueror of Demons means. The city of Liyue has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the... Fair enough. Away we... <sighs> Since we Adepti have... But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? <laughs> All right, Mooncarver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best le... <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. Oh, right! It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. But we were able to handle the Overlord of the Vortex on our own. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death too? Hyman doesn't get it. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus Rite of Power? 